Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Christine and this is part two of my two-day shopping trip for home decorations. Thank you for joining me, so let's get started. So this is part two of my two-day shopping trip. I'm at a different Goodwill store now, and there was a lot more items on the shelves at this store, which is good. I mentioned in video one that we moved into a new home recently, and I am so excited because it's a blank slate for me to decorate each room one by one, and I loved this cake stand, by the way. Not the tin on the bottom, but the beading around the edges I thought was so beautiful. But I get to decorate each and every room one by one. So I figured I would head to the thrift store to get some fun items that I can upcycle and repurpose and use for fun decoration. I thought this looked like a little pineapple. Just the texture of the glass, a little more orangey, but a little pineapple. And then I'm kicking myself. I wish I would have bought this little milk jar. I don't think it's an actual milk jar, but this white glass, it would be so pretty with some flowers in it on a bookshelf. And I wish I would have purchased it, but I left that for someone else to find. And look at these sweet bunnies, this little mom and baby bunny. So cute. And I thought this chicken was so cute. It was kind of a paper mache type material, but look at the sign right next to it. That is so true. <laughs> this duck was so unique. I know that painted wooden ducks are really on trend right now for farmhouse decor, but someone had actually taken this to a different level. They added a stick and these seashells to the bottom and then created all these feathers with seashells on the side. They obviously went to a lot of work. I thought it was so unique. And then this big chunky rooster. This thing was so heavy and it would be so cute painted white and antique gel on top with all that texture on it for $5.99. I will be uploading my kitchen decoration video in a couple of days and I'm currently working on my dining room and I've found so many awesome items. If you haven't seen my first video, I'll link that down in the description and you can go look at all the awesome items that I found thus far. And then at the end of this video, obviously, I'll show you the additional items I found. Another rooster. This one's already white, which I love for $3.99. And here's the furniture section. I always like to check the furniture section for dressers or dining buffets because I can paint them and refurbish the wood and flip them. They sell really well in my area. Here's a couple of two wooden trays, a little pair. They were attached together for $5.99. I love a good tray to put on a coffee table for a little display. These ones were kind of a faux leather, I think, and they were $7.99 a piece, a good size. I purchased a couple of these little ceramic pitchers. I don't know why I love these so much, but I got them in a different color, but they're so cute with that little spout and handle. 
They're great to use on weekends for pancakes and waffles. And for some reason, they just remind me of a comfortable home. The little design on these bowls was so pretty. Do you ever go shopping and then as you're watching the video back, see all these items that you wish you would have seen when you were actually there? I'm seeing so many of them on this video. Somehow I missed those. I have so many of these metal tin containers, but I still always take a look because they're so practical. That one was the perfect size for the back of a toilet to put some towels or toilet paper in. So I always still take a peek at those. And who doesn't love a great cookie jar? This one was so cute with those raised letters, those cute little handles, but that dark brown color is not what I'm looking for. I could have painted it and kept the inside intact so that it was still food safe, but I passed on that for someone else to find it. As I mentioned in a previous video, I always go to the plant pot section because not only can you paint these out and I go and purchase a cute little plant for a shelf or a nightstand, but I keep a lot of these on hand as gifts. So I buy a bunch of them and then I paint them all at the same time. I purchase a plant at Home Depot or Ikea for very inexpensive and they make a great gift to leave on someone's doorstep or when they're coming over for dinner or just a visit. They're a great gift for a very inexpensive price. Okay, this is my favorite part where I get to start unpacking everything that I purchased and going through them one by one and start coming up with ideas of how I'm going to upcycle them and which room I'm going to use them in. But we'll start with this basket. So practical. It's smaller than the one I got yesterday, but it's in great condition. And I thought I could use it in the Jack and Jill bathroom with some rolled up towels for a decoration, but also very practical. There was a tag on it, but no price. And when I got to the checkout stand, he said it was $2.99. So great deal. And then I got another cake stand. These colors were so amazing. <laughs> I was drawn to these colors, but I love that chunky base, that big round ball. And it was $5.99. I will definitely paint this, even though I love the colors. I'll paint this white and distress it and I'll use it for a decoration only since I'm painting it it won't be food safe I did ask in my previous video I'd heard if you finish off a piece with lacquer that it becomes food safe does anybody know if that's true please comment below I would love to know and then I got this very sleek beautiful ceramic swan I can paint that white and use it for some rolled up towels in the bathroom. It's just beautiful, unique, and that was $1.99. And then this green vase. I love all this texture and these little round handles and the texture around the rim. It kind of gives me the restoration hardware vibe. I've already put some paper inside so I can start painting it with some gray and black chalk paint and make it look like one of their vessels in their store and this was $3.99. And then I got just this little container that I can use this always for candy or in the bathroom for cotton balls. That pale green color is really pretty. It's got that little lid and it's in good condition. It's got that beading around the top and the edges so if I painted it that would show through really cute. And just always can use one of these and this was only $1.99. 
and then this beautiful wooden tray with these kind of unique handles. It just needs to be cleaned up a bit. I can put some butcher block oil on it. And this was only $2.99. I thought this would be great. Oh, $3.99, sorry. I thought this would be beautiful on a dining room table to put some candles and flowers. And that would be beautiful. And then I can use this vase for my dining room as well. I just like the shape of it, the height of it. It's already white. And I love that texture that just draws your eye in. It matches the giraffes that I did in my previous video. And it was only $3.99. I'm showing this vase. I actually purchased this about a month ago. And I'm only showing it because of the style and height and shape that matches the vase I just showed you. I wanna put them side by side as a little decoration. I painted this one already. It was such an ugly color to begin with, but I painted it this pale slate gray and I could put some flowers in this and put them side by side with the other vase as a display. And then as always, I got a few planters. This one's just small, but it's that stone clay, like a restoration hardwood vessel. And I thought it would be so cute with a little plant. And it was only $1.99. And then this salmon colored one, it's such a bright color. It doesn't show up too well on camera as bright as it is, but I'd love to keep this color. It's so pretty. I'll probably end up painting it, but I like that raised detail on front and then the little saucer was attached. And because it was a little bit larger, it was $3.99. And then I got this larger one as well that had a saucer and it just has those earth tone colors. And I'm trying to decide if I should paint this or keep it these earth tone colors, but this one was a little bit larger, so it was also $3.99. And then this big metal tin tray. It's a really good size. I think they used to sell these at Hobby Lobby. I've seen it somewhere before, but it's got that great side and these chunky rope handles. And it's just a really good size. I need to repair this rope on the one handle. It's kind of fraying a little bit. So I need to glue that down and fix it. And it was $5.99. And then you guys look at these sweet birds. These are so adorable. I found them and I absolutely fell in love. I'm completely obsessed. I love the color of this blue one. It's so pretty. And then this little yellow chick. I don't know if they're a pair or not. I found them on different aisles and they're different colors, but that doesn't mean anything. I'm not sure if they're a pair, but the blue one did not have a price on it. And the gentleman just decided to charge me the same price as the yellow one. So they were $2.99 each. And I just love the little facial expression of the blue one. And then this green vase, it's actually kind of an avocado color. I'm not sure if I'll paint it or not, but it's kind of a unique color. And again, it's got all that texture that dries your eyes in, which I love. Thought it would be pretty with some flowers inside. And it was $2.99. And then these three white carafe style vases. I am not exactly sure what they're used for. They're tall and thin with this beautiful handle and then white at the bottom. I've never seen them before, but the fact that they came in a package of three, I'm thinking they must be used for something specific. Comment below and let me know if I'm supposed to use them for something specific, but for now, I'll just use them for decoration and they were $2.99 each. And then some glass jars, this raised pattern glass. 
the lids worked, but they were kind of scuffed up, and that's fine because I can paint those and add a little knob. This medium-sized one was $1.99, and then the smaller one was 99 cents. The glass was exactly the same, but the lids were a little bit different. But again, I can paint those so they'll match. And then I got this larger one. It doesn't necessarily match, but I figured if I put these cute knobs on it and paint them all, they'll look like a little package set. And I can put some Epsom salts in them and cotton balls and then some Q-tips. this belief sign my kids are giving me so much grief about this they make so much fun of me but i love it it was red and i got excited and i already started to paint it and then remembered i needed to videotape it first so i've painted it black and then i'll paint it white on top and then sand it back so that the black shows through and then i'll hang that in a corner and i might be the only one to appreciate that but it was only 2.99 these metal hooks, I'll take them out of the bag so you can see them, but they're just a metal hook. I can always use them in a mud room or bathroom. And there's two of them and they were $1.99. This bag of stencils had small letters and then capital letters and then some oversized letters in the center. And I can definitely use these for just a project or some verbiage or signage or a little plaque or something for the future. And they were $2.99. And then these three beautiful ceramic plaques, they were made out of, I think ceramic. They were quite heavy. They have this raised flower on front. I can put some antique wax on them if I want a little bit more dimension but they were so cute and they have a little hook on the back to hang them and they were $3.99 for all three of them. And then I found this vase that looks just like a pocket full of sunshine, that bright yellow, and it was quite large. I loved the size of it. I haven't decorated with yellow before, but I found this and just loved the size and the color it was $5.99, so it inspired me to buy a couple more yellow items that I can use for decoration. This one was quite unique that I think someone must have made this. It was black, inside was really smooth, and then the rest of it was inside and outside was really textury like sandpaper. And it just was kind of unique that I figured I needed it and it was $3.99. And then I got these ceramic pitchers. These are the ones I love for some reason. There's that yellow again, I love it. The shape is so cute. I just feel like these are so homey. We can use them for homemade sourdough pancakes on the weekends. And the second one, was a little bit of a different color. It was kind of a darker mustard color, but they were $3.99 each. And then this yellow little small pitcher, this was bright and for $1.99, why not? Now these ceramic square containers are so beautiful with all that detailing around the sides and I love the fact that they're square. This second one has a little lid on it. Obviously they're not a pair, but I thought if I painted them the same color, they would look a little bit more like a pair and they could sit side by side with tissue paper in one and some supplies in the other and they were $2.99 each. And then this metal welcome sign that has these two little hooks on the top that I can tie some ribbon or jute rope around it and hang it by the back barn door. And it was just $1.99. This wood plaque, I see these all the time. I just liked the phrase on it. And I like to use them instead of a book stand on a shelf. At the end of a stack of books, I use these to hold the books up. 
and then you just have a cute little decoration as well and it was $1.99. These little coasters looked like someone had DIY'd them. They looked like little palettes and I saw this idea on Pinterest that I thought I could paint them and stamp some farm animals on them and use them for coasted, or coasters and they were $1.99 for four of them. And then this little watering can or teapot knob. I'm sure I'll use this on a project in the future and it was 99 cents. And then this large metal tin. I just really liked the gold handles on it and I can always use that for a decoration somewhere and it was 5.99. And then last of all, this large mirror. It's a lot bigger than it looks on this camera. I don't know the size, but I laid it down on the bed to see if it would actually match the wood on one of our headboards. And it's actually a pretty good match. It has some chips on the side that I can sand down and restain it and fix those. And it was only $7.99. And we're at the end of this video. So here's a little sneak peek of how I'm using those items to decorate my dining room. I just love the colors of the gray and the white combined with all that texture and then the softness of the flowers and the wood tones of the tray. They just all make a great display. So I hope you'll come back and join me for that video. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe, please take a chance to do so. I'd love to have you back here for future projects. I thank you so much for joining me for a little bit of your day and I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day.